Counsel for the NDC, Mr. Chachu Chikata, today began his cross-examination of Dr. Mahmoudou Baumia, the star witness for the petitioners. This was immediately after counsel for the EC, Mr. James Kwashi Aydan, had ended his cross-examination. Dr. Baumia answered questions relating to voting without biometric verification and his reference to the MPP polling agents as mere observers. According to Mr. Chachu Chikata, the main role of polling agents was to certify the polls as one conducted in accordance with the law. Before continuing with the cross-examination of Dr. Baumia, counsel for the second respondent, the EC, Mr. James Kwashi Aidan, provided copies of some documents that he wanted to tender in as evidence at the last sitting, but was asked by the court to do so today on the condition that he provides the original copies as the one he had were photocopies. Counsel for the petitioners, Mr. Philip Addison, however, raised an objection to one of the documents from Atebubu Mountain constituency on the grounds that one of the coalition forms was filled with carbon ink instead of a blue ink. Its authenticity, he said, was therefore doubtful. After a heated debate by both counsel, as well as input from some of the judges on the issue, Presiding Judge Justice William Atuguba said the EC can tender the document in as evidence through its own witness and not through the star witness of the petitioners. On the issue of some people with disability who were not allowed to vote, Mr. Aidan suggested to Dr. Baumia that 70,889 of them across the country were allowed to vote without biometric verification, but Dr. Baumia insisted that only 3,196 of them were allowed to vote across three regions of the country. Mr. Aidan further suggested to Dr. Baumia that his allegations of irregularities omit more practices and violations are without basis, an assertion that was refuted by Dr. Baumia. Just when counsel for the third respondent, Mr. Chachuchikata, was to begin his cross-examination of Dr. Baumia, counsel for the petitioners, Mr. Philip Addison, objected to it, saying that since the third respondent, the NDC, filed a joint affidavit with the first respondent, counsel for the first respondent, Mr. Tonlitha, had already done that for them, but his objection was overruled. Mr. Chikata quizzed Dr. Baumia on issues ranging from overvoting, voting without biometric verification, or non-signing by some presiding officers. Mr. Chikata asked the witness, how come the first petitioner, Nane Kufwadu, signed a letter to the party's polling agent to oversee elections in some 22 polling stations, which the NPP is claiming to be ghost polling stations? Dr. Baumia said those polling stations existed on paper, but not in reality. Mr. Chikata also drew Dr. Baumia's attention to a provision in CI 75 Regulation 19, which says that polling agents are there to prevent impersonation and multiple voting at polling stations. But Dr. Baumia had a different view. We were also aware that the polling agent is there to certify that the poll was conducted in accordance with the laws and regulations governing the conduct. You are aware of that? Well, you were aware of that or you were not aware of it? The polling agents attest to what actually happened at the polling station. Hearing is adjourned to tomorrow.